Okay, we are back in the house and it is looking a lot different, right? It's looking nice and bright and white and that is because our painting job is done. So I ended up going with Snowbound on all the walls, all the trims, all the ceilings, color drenched in white so it's not that exciting but it does create a nice blank slate for everything and everyone. The only place that I did something a little different was in our kitchen and I went with ferro and ball and setting plaster and it's not actually ferro and ball paint because that would be a budget buster but it's actually Sherman Williams color match to ferro and balls setting plaster. Back in those little butler's pantries I did go with uh, Sherman Williams pure white just because I didn't know what I wanted to do in the kitchen in the end and I felt like I wanted it to be a little bit brighter and a little bit whiter than the other spaces so both butler's pantries are pure white <laughs> but all the other walls including the renter side kitchen is Sherman Williams snowbound and it looks and it looks fantastic. In addition to having all of the painting completed, well not all because we still have to paint the basement, but in addition to having all of the painting completed, we also have up all of our ceiling fans. So just for ease, in each bedroom, I went ahead and put a ceiling fan. One side of the house has air conditioning, the other side doesn't. So I felt like we should at least do ceiling fans because we shall see where we land budgetarily <laughs> to see if we can go ahead and add air conditioning. But if not, we've discovered that ceiling fans have been a great addition to the bedrooms and our rentals. So we went ahead and put them in all of the bedrooms over here. In the renter side dining room, I also put a ceiling fan just again because of the no air conditioning. And then on our side, I'm still, well, not just on our side, in lots of other places, I'm still figuring out lighting options. Lighting is one of those things that costs a little bit more than we all feel and think it should. And it's like, if I spend out over a certain amount, it's just gonna stay. And on the renter side, they would probably, well, that's not true. Depending on who the renter is, they might wanna change their own light fixtures. So I don't wanna get something too expensive or too extravagant just for them to take it down. So I'm towing the line between it's cute and it doesn't cost too much. So I'm on the renter side right now. And next up on our list is also refinishing the hardwood floors. Uh, we have someone scheduled to come in on December 1st. So still a little ways, a little, little ways to go until that can be done. But then things will really start to look, you know, new and nice and clean. And once that's done, then we can go in and fill in all of the places where baseboards, uh, where baseboard trim is missing. And then it'll really start looking like, you know, I keep saying that somewhere somebody could live. <laughs> All right, I have to be Sean's voice because <coughs> he doesn't have one. This window here, there's no glass. We outside on all three panes. And that will not do because birds can fly in, water can get in. So Sean's gonna do his specialty, Frost King, <laughs> he said, sponsor him, Frost King. He's going to do his specialty uh, plastic on the window. Not sure why the painters took it down. Probably just to reveal that they had done it. But here's a closer look at um, why we are saying that really all of the windows need to be replaced. They're just, yeah, they've, they've all seen better days. Have they? Have they seen better days? I know what days they've seen.
doing things. It's like nearly impossible to show you plastic on a window, <laughs> but hopefully we're going to figure out this window situation very soon. Hello everyone. So you sent me over here to, uh, what she sent me over here for? She sent me over here to uh, bring the towel in, yes. You know why y'all don't see me in these videos about the house renovation? I don't even come over here. I don't even come over here because every time I come over here, I'm, reminding of, I'm reminded of how much money I do not have anymore. And it's depressing. It's my piece of advice for you. Stay at home, couch surf, okay? For as long as you can. Live with your parents as long as you can. Let your kids live with you because Sure, you give up some freedom, but you get freedom from the sadness you get when you check your bank account. Go to the store and you say, hmm, I can have steak tonight or I can have ramen noodles. Those are the, it's ramen noodles. It's ramen noodles all the time, every day. We've been eating ramen noodles. I am a ramen noodle. Let me bring this towel in. Get out of here. This is gonna be heavy. I already know. Just got all these boxes in here. A tile, tired as hell. Whew. All right, this is the last y'all gonna hear from me until we move in. Whew. It's been a while since we've been in the car talking. I actually got a new phone. Do I look any different? Probably not, because upgrading your phone is a scam. We are at foreign decor because it's time to buy some tile. So I was gonna order the tile and have it delivered, but the delivery price was $252. And Sean said, absolutely not. Even if we have to make three trips, it's still cheaper than paying for a delivery. So I'm here to do maybe the first of a couple of pickups, we'll see. And I did notice looking at my cart, which maybe I'll insert a picture. My cart looks so boring. <laughs> Like the colors look so boring, but the spice comes in with other elements. So one of many trips to Menards and Florent Decor and Home Depot. And now my website's Wayfair has just been like, I get it now. Why these places are very popular because they have affordable stuff when you're doing your renovation. So... I need 14 total. Okay. Nice young man came and helped me. I got my boxes of tile and I got a sample of one for the renter side. I think we're gonna have to make multiple trips. Well, let's see. Let's get this in the car. See how heavy it is. Okay, that is our bathroom tile and then all of the tile for our bathroom will be at the house. Now what I'm also looking for <coughs> some ideas on is fireplace tile, but I need tile to go in the hearth. Yeah, the hearth. And because I have that kind of dark green color, I wanted something with a little bit of brown in it to try and warm it up a little bit and marry it to the floors. My initial thinking was something along the lines of like this one or that one. 
But what I'm finding, a lot of stuff has a lot of gray in it. And I wanted more of a marbly whites, creams, browns, not so much gray. So I might just have to look a little bit harder. But I think 14 boxes of that other tile and 11 boxes of this tile is all that I can handle. Me in the car. This is all me in the car can handle. Now something like this at the fireplace could be really nice. But also I just saw this. But is that too much brown? So maybe there are options with not so much gray. It's maybe a bit too white. Okay, my tire is sitting so low. I think I gotta put some of these in the front seat to level it out. Like, can y'all see how close the car is to the tire as opposed to that side? Yeah. <laughs> Let's put something in the front. It's crazy because I can feel sitting in the car how <laughs> low the back is. I hope I make it home okay. <laughs> Turns out that was an awkward place to stop filming. <laughs> but I did because that's all I have. But I did make it home safely in case you were wondering. This is hard to film. I'm over on the house, over at the house because I figured while we stopped at that awkward place, it was a good time for me to explain one of the biggest pivots that I've had to make in the house so far, and that is in our bathroom. If you recall, the last time we talked about the bathroom, my plan was to put this tile on the floor and up the wall of the shower where we discovered the window. We all loved it. On Instagram, I asked people to vote which orientation did they like best because it can be laid, you know, different ways for different appeals. The whole nine yards, this was the plan. And then I started looking at the tile more. The time came closer to when we were actually going to tile. And what I was ignorant of at the time when I selected that tile is that it is a cement tile. If you don't know, cement tile is made of cement, but it tends to be more porous. It's very popular right now. Most of the time, if you see heavily patterned tile or lots of color on a tile, it's likely cement tile. And that's because the nature of the cement allows you to have more colors, more patterns. And that's why lots of us like it. But cement tile is heavily porous and it needs to be treated before it can even be laid. And then I'm getting conflicting reports online, but anywhere from six months to two years, it needs to be resealed. Now, if you recall, our ultimate goal for this house is for it to be a rental property. So something that needs attention every two years isn't really a product that we want to use in this house. So that being said, I couldn't use that tile. I had to find a new tile. <laughs> And that sparked a whole spin out of like constantly looking at tile online. I've already ordered so many samples. I really didn't want to have to go into a whole nother round of sampling and we were kind of running short on time. Anyway, so that led me to a tile that I found on Wayfair that I'm going to show you guys. So I found the tile on Wayfair and it was a really good price at about $7.50 a square foot, which is a little high, but felt, you know, doable for our budget. And sample tiles on Wayfair are only 99 cents. You have to pay for shipping, it's like six bucks. But for 99 cents, I figured let's go and get all of them. I wanted to do a terrazzo in the renter's bathroom on the floor over there, but that couldn't happen because we can't take the floor up over there. So I really liked the look of this tile and it was a good price. I didn't want to go with the original terrazzo that I saw because it was a hexagon and we were already using a hexagon in the kitchen and I wanted to use a different shape so I ordered all the tile samples to get them here and see which one we like best and can you guess which one we landed on because we've already picked one it's what Sean was bringing in in that earlier clip in this video it's the green I landed on the green tile and I really like it I actually think that I'm going to be very happy with it and I actually like it more, I think, than my original tile selection. If you go back to what we were going to do, we were going to do that cement tile on the floor and on the wall and then a black elongated subway tile, this one here, on the other two shower walls and then 48 inches up the wall. And that's what we're going to do, except we're going to use this green terrazzo. It's less 
busy visually. I really wanted to use a terrazzo anyway, and I think it'll look modern, but paired with the chrome finishes that we're gonna put in there, it'll still have a very classic look. Now I came to do this over here at the house because I thought that I would be able to find the shower fixtures. But literally, this little thing is all I can find. The tiles are different. That was one of my concerns when ordering them because all of the samples had this particular pattern. But you can see that there is some variation in the tile. So even though it's a faux terrazzo, it won't look just like the same tile repeated over and over again. Here I'll put um, a picture of the faucet that I'm thinking about that is also chrome, but you see it has a bit of that kind of timeless look to it. Uh, this is the vanity that we decided on. This is the transition piece we're gonna use, a nice black marble. So this is kind of the vibe of our bathroom after the transition. Sean's very excited about his garage. <laughs> there's our garage and it has electricity in it you can plug something in it does still have trees growing in it so that's the thing but do you want to close it while we're inside no i'm gonna be back here uh drinking beer in my lawn chair Things are chugging right along. So this is the renter side where that floor has finally been filled in, which now we can put a bathroom here. And if we jump over to our side, the walls are going up. <laughs> hey, look at this guy, what he did. Yeah, look at what this guy did. <laughs> he made a whole bathroom. I do everything, you know that. Yeah. Out of nothing. I... With the exhaust I... up there bathroom i did the first round of tile by myself this time i bought my guns yeah kiss them mm -hmm. you guys got your tickets for the last show <laughs> now we on a world tour <laughs> we're getting the renter side kitchen tile we needed 14 boxes last time today 21 boxes 21 can you do something for me he had more the gun show November 28th, happening at the Gun Arena. You just said last time you sold out. Last year, sold out less than an hour, okay? <laughs> Make sure you get your VIP access passes, okay? Those are starting off at 350. Okay. But if you get the early $3.50? No, oh. $350. And if you sign up for your early access, you know what that means. <laughs> You get to kiss the guns. Okay. So this is the tile. This is the oh. renter side kitchen floor. Oh. 21 boxes. Go. 21 of these? Yes. That's all we got right now? Yeah. We need 21 of these? Yeah. For that little kitchen? Yes. No. I'm telling you. No, I didn't. I promise I did not. I was not trying to get my best part of the I did not do that on purpose. Yes, you did. I promise. Hold it while you do the work. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I brought you here. Alright, we're gonna go with 20 because if we need one more, we can always come back. That included a 10% for overage and breakage. You know, the world's strongest man. Who they be like? Yeah. They go down, they stop, they go. Yeah. <laughs> you can't video. <laughs> you gotta grab one. Side. Okay, here's the bath. This is the winter set bathroom shower tile. We only need seven boxes of this, so we figured we might as well just go ahead oh, and get God. them. We should deliver these. Those are really heavy? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell how low to the ground the car is. But it's low.
Yeah, you know, I've done four. <laughs> you only done number four. I'm done five. Okay. All of the tile is in. We are both out of breath, but I think, hopefully, that's all the tile. Provided nothing gets or nothing is broken inside the boxes. That is all the tile for both sides. Here, ah, still figuring out the fireplace. Let me show y'all the fireplace options and the light. Which ones I like, which one Sean says he likes, and you guys can chime in. So the fireplace is kind of a dark green color. It's called Andoran by Sherman Williams. And I wanted something warm on the floor. I think I like these. I'll show, I'll insert a picture as to what it looks like in the store all installed. I think I like these. Sean says he likes this one. I also kind of like this one because of the way it looks when it's fully installed. I'll insert a picture of what that one looks like too. That one I didn't get a picture of, but it would be the same on both sides. You guys let me know which you think. If we go with this one, I'll probably do a border of this one. We will be dropping the gas line. It's dropped on the other side and it'll just be flat. How do you feel? <laughs> the gun show came to town. The gun show did its thing here in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. On to the next city. Yay. Make sure you get your VIP mm -hmm. access selling fast. <laughs> that energy was different when you first told them about the VIP. I gave it my all out there. <laughs> so I don't really know where this video begins or ends, but I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and say farewell. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are getting closer and closer and closer to the finish line. We do still have a lot of work still to do, but with the paint being done, that means that moving in is, you know, we're inching, we're inching. I'll see you guys in the comments. Thank you as always so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.